Hello and welcome to the first video in a series on Smart Report. Smart Report is a feature that allows users to generate, customize, and export reports in different formats. Smart Report can be evoked from many different modules, such as backlogs and queries. It can also be evoked from most of modern requirements modules, such as Baseline, Smart Docs, and more. Here's how you can create a basic Smart Report from the backlog. Simply select the work items you'd like to include in your report. Click on the context menu and select Smart Report. You can generate the report in a variety of formats. Then you can save them to Word PDF, HTML, or save to library, which saves the document in the document management system. In this video, we will focus on how you can use Smart Report to export your Smart Doc. Here we have a BRD that we'd like to export. Before generating the Smart Report, there are a few best practices. First of all, close this panel on the left in order to create a bit more space on the screen. Secondly, ensure that your work item types are showing by clicking on the right panel, going to column options, and turning type on. Now you can easily see the work item type. Third, turn the document view off. Now you can see the levels of your document with a lot more clarity. The next step is to click on the ellipses and select Smart Report. You can shift the Smart Report over to the right slightly to be able to see some of those work items and their levels. Here, You'll notice that in the Report Parts section, there is a default report part, which is Form. You can go ahead and generate the report as it is, and you can see that those work items are displayed in the Form view. If you wanted to, you could export this Smart Report as it is. You can also choose from many other default report parts, such as Table and so on. In this video, you'd seen how you can create a smart report using any of the default report parts. If you want to learn how to further customize your report part, stay tuned for the next video in our series where we'll dive into the designer view. We will also see how you can customize your report part using the levels of a document. Thank you for watching.